Hooray! Hey, you're a new title! Hey guys, I uh, decided to do one of the quests off camera, one of the Mr. Neumann quests, so I just got to the end of Fire Mountain again. I actually failed the quest. It was a quest to find a certain item, and the item was not here, because the dungeon's randomly generated. It tells you... Oh, Goblin are a new title. I also figured out how to release my uh, monsters and help them fight with me, and I totally could have done it the whole time. Uh, I captured some new monsters, too. I don't know if I could try the quest again or what, but I failed it. I took debt to uh, accept the quest, and now I got a penalty. But I was told that it might not always appear on your first try. Uh, so that's a little messed up, but... Both of my goblins died, by the way. This is a... Oops. This is a harder... Yeah, no, this is where I want to go. This is a, it was a harder harder time through it for some reason, I don't know why. But I captured a bunch of uh, two armors and a priest. So I should be able to use those. So yeah, I have to accept it again. That's really dumb. Like, this one is pretty much guaranteed success. This one... I think APP there, down at the bottom right, APP is like appearance rate of the glass sword. It would appear 90% of the time, the other one also said 90% of the time. But it just wasn't there. I searched everywhere, I pressed X on every spot, so I don't know. But I am gonna try once more off camera, I think, for this one. Because the glass sword sounds really nice, it's probably stronger than what I have right now. Plus, I'll get some money. Uh, so I'm gonna go away again. I was just here to let you know about some progress, about my new title, and about my, uh, new uh, monsters. So, see you in a bit. Hello again. I'm about to beat the boss, who is now white for some reason. And once I do, uh, hopefully he'll drop the sword I'm looking for, because I have not found it yet. But either way... I'm going to be moving on at this point. So, it looks like he didn't drop anything. Is it over here? Ah, uh, shoot. So it looks like I failed the quest again. So apparent, apparent APP 90% does not mean 90% appearance rate. Right? Either that or I'm really unlucky to fail 10% chance twice. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I did find this really sweet ring. Uh, I haven't been able to master it yet because I need 20 wisdom, but it's got some nice, uh, it's got some nice stats and that 100% resistance to fire. I'm immune to fire as long as I'm wearing this, which is nice. Quest failed, but I got a new title, and I can now register more skills. And I can now register more spells. Armor one got a new title as well. Ultra attack. Armor 1 and Priest did 1 did a great job throughout this whole thing. Armor 1 did die in the beginning, but uh, I re had to revive fruit, so it was fine. I'm gonna move on with the game. These quests are, are lame. They, I probably shouldn't even bother with them. I did sell some items, though, so I have positive money now. And I'm probably gonna have to do that again, because Mountain can only hold so much, apparently. So I'm gonna head into the store. Looks like the store owner's outside, which means his wife is taking care of shop. Hello. Let's see. Ooh, the Ring of Fire can't be sold. It's legendary, apparently. That's pretty cool. What do I need to sell? Uh, I don't think I need this vest. Or this rod. I should, I should store as much as I can first, see what I have in storage, because the, the weird thing about the storage inventory is that, uh, only unique items count towards the limit. So, like, I can, I see I have, I have two Vigor Fruits in there, but they only count as one item, so I could put as many Vigor Fruits as I wanted in there without actually running up against my limit. Because I already have some in there. So maybe I could store everything. Nope, I can't store this yummy fruit. 
Alright, so what what do I want to sell instead of the yummy fruit? Because I think I do want to keep the yummy fruit. In case I uh, in case I need it. Yummy fruits are useful. I guess I have no need for the ace sword. My long sword is strictly better. So I took out the ace sword, I'll give you the yummy fruit. I'll sell the Ace Sword because I need to. I can only have four items to go in. May as well save while I'm here. I got two titles after all. And then I'll actually move on with the game. And probably never accept another quest again because they're all bold. they're all bogus. I guess the explore ones aren't that bad, because there's guaranteed to be a fourth floor. So if it's explore up to the fourth floor, like, as long as I don't die, I'm guaranteed to be able to do that. The find an item one, like, it told me there's a chance it won't be there. But I thought that was a fairly low chance. Thank you! Alright, let's move on. This new area appeared back behind here. And we're probably gonna find our first new hero here. Yeah, I actually remember this house is where you meet the lion looking guy. Fight. I think. It's not letting me in. I have to go around behind it. What am I missing? I thought that was just. What the hell? I'm all kinds of confused. Nala, do you have any advice for me? What is this place? Is this place always here? This place, I think, is the end of the game, I want to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the very end of the game, as you go here. I don't know why it's already here, if it's supposed to be. Anything else I haven't seen yet? Because I thought that I could just knock on this door and everything would be... swell. I... I... I don't... I don't understand. What am I missing? Uh... Is there another new place? He said below the clock tower. Can I like go down to the bottom of the clock tower? I can go to the bottom of the clock tower. Okay, I didn't remember that. I guess that's why the rabbit told me that. Alright, that works. That makes sense. Yeah, you do need to stop worrying. It is very strange, but you know... It is what it is, bro. Anything cool behind the clock tower? No, nothing. Yeah, there's our second hero. Our second playable character. This is our new land. I guess he's not a second playable character yet, but he will be. He's also the only other one I'll ever uh, actually use. But not yet. Not for a while. I'm gonna be sword for most of the game. Hello, friends. Oh, maybe this is our second playable character, because he's also a playable character. Maybe I get two and three at the same time. Oh, poor guy. Ah, ugh. This one I'm never going to play as. Okay, bye! Friday is a day, it's not a person. Nigel! Nigel Thornberry? King's Tomb. Oh no, you opened a book! That was a mistake. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have opened the book. Alright, I'll go save Friday. 
Oh, as long as she's a really cute girl, okay. Snark does have a soft spot for those, that's why he, uh, did the first dungeon. So did I not get any playable characters yet? I, I have to do the next one sword? I mean, I'm going to, but... Nando. Well, I guess I'm gonna start this. I don't know if I'm gonna finish, I've been playing for a while. You haven't been watching for too long, though I've been playing for a while. But, uh, are my, uh, allies still out? No, they're not. I want Armor 1 and Priest 1, my two best allies. I don't know what it means to register spells. Or skills. But, I have skills and spells. What is ST down? Decrease attack or defense of the so status down. Okay, makes sense. An air slash is a punishing aerial sword attack rate. Right? Clairvoyance. Up chances of item discovery. Maybe I should have cast that when I, uh... When I was in the other, uh... Looking for the items and doing that quest. Anyway, bye Nigel. I'm gonna go find Friday for you. If she's even here, who knows? I don't know. Hey, lion guy. Don't remember your name. But you're definitely a playable character. Bum, bum. Maybe I have their character bios when I go back to Mutton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. This is an interesting looking dungeon. I dig it. Oh, I already found the exit. Not gonna use it yet. I would be woefully unprepared if I went to the second floor at level one. I think going to the second floor at level one is worse than Flame Scarf. It's for Pyra. I'm not Pyra, and I'm never gonna play as Pyra. Forge Fruit levels up a weapon. Could do that. Could use that. I can't hold any of these yet. I only hold four weapons. I have to level up first. I'll fight two burglars. Ooh, they're far away. Why can't I choose any of these other attacks? Because I don't have mastery of my skill weapon yet? That's bad. Oh, and dead take damage appeal. That's good to know. Well, I guess I'm gonna cut. I have 95 MP though. I could I could cast fire. Spell hit rate is 70. Armor one probably can't reach. Yeah. So he'll just have to he'll just have to defect. And this guy can he reach? No, he can't. He's mostly supposed to be used for healing anyway. And burglar one missed. Burglar two. Missed. I think they tried to steal an item from that guy, which means if they attack me, that could end badly. Forget, I'll cut. I'll take two turns to attack to kill these guys. It's annoying though. If they steal from me, oh, stun. All right, so this should kill this one. Priest will defend. I cannot defend with that guy. Be the armor because he's stunned. Uh, they're doing way too much damage to my allies. I think level one's the hardest. Once you get past level one, everything, you, the whole world opens up. I'm actually gonna have you. No, you can't move. Okay. I was gonna try to have the uh, priest move over. So that if the uh, uh, burglar tried to attack him, it would miss. I can't move the armor because you can only move here or here. Well, I could. It would swap places, but it wouldn't be useful. Uh, oops. I didn't need to undo that. I'm doing that. I'm doing this. And I'm doing this. Don't kill me. Alright, good. This worked out. I was afraid of this fight, uh, but it worked out. Like I said, level one's the hardest. 
Oh, and we didn't even level up from that, so we're still level one, which is still the hardest. And there's a tantalizing heal fruit that I can't pick up because my pockets aren't deep enough yet. I have to fight this goblin. Armor goblin, huh? Oh, my cut only does one damage. What's my hit chance for this? Oh, 90% chance. Okay, that's good. And this guy can attack here. And here. And you only do one damage. Good, 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 good. This is not nearly as annoying as the other fight. Perfect. And now we're level 2. Everything should get better from here, right? I think so. Oh, I obtained some sort of mysterious fruit. Not recognized. I could just randomly try to use it. I don't know how to identify. Oh, jeez. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. Penetrator minus one. Is that... What it, I can't see it. Is that a sword? It's a spear. I don't attack with spears. Sword doesn't use spears. Other guys use spears. And then enemies just spawned. What, the, what are you? Why can't I attack you? I can only attack the burglar, which will let me attack you. Alright, good. Now that I'm level 2, I can use real attacks. A wyvern. This is a much higher hit chance. But you still have a good chance of miss, so let's back it up with this. Don't kill him. Ah, oh, you killed my friend. I have to find a revive fruit if I want to bring him back. I don't have one yet. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, you only have a 75 chance of hitting. 65. This one has an 85 chance of hit. That's better than what I've seen before. And you don't do much damage. You're not so tough, Wyvern. Rune fruit. What's that do? Stores 30 MP. Okay, useful. I'll take the forge fruit. The flame scarf is not something the sword can wear. I'm pretty confident of that. Well, that was the whole floor. That was... That was, that was not easy. But it will get better, I think. One... Let's do dexterity, make my boots worth having. And move on. Hopefully I'll find a revive fruit soon. I'm also going to need a savory fruit at some point, not urgently. Where's the end of the floor? So far I could have gone straight to level 3 without fighting anything, because I found the first floor and the second floor exit without any real fanfare. Armor Goblin and Riv Riv Rivron. Let's kill the Armor Goblin let the Priest... Actually, let's let the Priest heal himself. Ah! Take that! That fruit in the middle of this room looks super suspicious. That won't kill it. That won't kill it. It'll do just as much damage as less a hit chance. And is more expensive vitality wise, so why would I ever have done do that? Looks like my only way to beat this thing is to do it in two attacks. That's okay. this should do it, as long as either me or the priest hit. I wonder what those cherries are. Alrighty. I identified a trap, spike ceiling. A mysterious fruit. I'll take it. There's gotta be some way to identify these things. Stab fruit. Heal fruits. No revive fruits. Ooh, steel armor sounds like a toughie. Maybe I should be capturing some of these guys. 
Either way, I may kill. What is my capture chance? Oh, I can't capture yet. I guess my level's not high enough still. Weird. This whole dungeon is very strange. It's set up in a very strange way. Alright. And that was worth a level up. Good, good, good. Repair seed repairs broken items. Apparently items can get broken in this game. And let's kill this guy. May as well. Ooh, now I can use my air slash. It is not useful yet. And I can also capture now. I don't see a need to capture an armor goblin. Armor goblin's kinda basic as far as enemies go. The other two goblins I'd captured on camera the first day, I have already just I dropped them. I let them go. I don't have them anymore. I see no need for them. There's one of these already on the second floor. Well, it's time to move on, so I may as well use it, even though I don't seem to need it much. I wish I had found that before my dude died. If I revive him now, he's still going to be level 2. So he'll probably just die again quickly. Oops, that's the beginning, not the end. Yeah, I'm going to need a, something for my hunger at some point. Some item. No, I'm not ready to go yet. More strength. Uh, no, wisdom. I feel like in the fire to mountain, I was also like, gaining stats faster as I leveled up. Like, not even just with bonus points. My stats seem really low. I don't know. Things are strange. I don't quite understand. And there's the exit, again! Third floor in a row that I just straight up found the exit before finding a single monster. Two different mystery fruits I can't carry anymore. Tunic plus two is for Nigel. Okay. Rabbitor and Power Goblins. Alright. You fight the Power Goblin, I'll fight the Rabbitors. Sound good? Apparently everyone will fight me. But that's fine. I'm stronger than you are, my priest friend. Wait. Right, and priest, finish off the one you started. Uh, you're not gonna finish it off, it's not gonna die. Well, you aren't super helpful, priest. In the time I'm taking to kill three enemies, you're gonna kill one. But you know what? I'm still glad to have you around. I like you, priest. Oh. Uh-oh. I can't kill this guy in one shot. Never mind. Maybe the guy's tougher than I anticipated. Maybe I'll capture one. This one that will be left alive. Let's see what my capture chance is. 95. Yeah, I'll take it. And you can just kind of sit here. Good dodge! I got a power goblin! Alright, we're up to level 7! Heal fruit is useful, uh, but I have no inventory. Oh no, I just leveled up. I have inventory limit. Uh, I'm gonna take some of these as many as I can hold up until it says I can't hold anything. Okay, that's it. I'm sure I'll find a way to identify them. At some point. Oh wait! There's still another path. I'm not done the floor yet. Look at me being all silly, jumping the gun. If I get hungry, I'll have to use one just as a desperation tactic. 
looking for traps. Can I kill the wyvern? Not with a thrust. Slash almost. Could try using fire on it. While well, the priest takes care slowly. Oh, looks like it will only take you two hits to kill it now, because you leveled up. You got a bit stronger. Good for you, priest. So, like I said, level one is the hardest. Now that I'm, like, established... Oh, that didn't kill you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, well, now I can thrust you to death. Like, now I'm starting to take very little damage, and... Everything's working out much more nicely than it did when I was level one. Beginning of the dungeon and the boss are usually always the hardest part. No level up. Bear trap. Ah. Movement blocked during battle. Oh, that's fine. I don't tend to move very often. I didn't get any more levels, so I can't pick up any more items, so moving on. Very hungry, I know. I'll try an unidentified item at some point. I'm just hoping I don't have to. I not want that. I'll never get up to the 20 wisdom I need for, uh, to I need for my ring. But I don't know what not having it mastered even does, like, negatively. It probably just makes it a little weaker as well. Alright, four floors in a row where I just straight up found the exit without trying. I don't know what happens when you get too hungry. I don't want to find out. So very, very soon I'm going to use an unidentified item. Ah, savory fruit. Nope, not going to use an identified item. I'm going to kill some hard bugs, so uh, hopefully I level up and can pick up the savory fruit and eat it. 70% hit rate. Do I have something better? That's 50. That's 80, but it's also super expensive vitality-wise. I guess this is the best I could do. Should kill it. This should also kill it, but my hit rate is abysmal, but I don't have any other alternatives. Oh, you shoot lasers, and you also kind of stab a bit. Yeah, I figured I would probably miss. Thrust was my best hit rate. Both of us attacking, we should hit. One of us should hit, right? 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 Not me. Alright, good job, priest. Thank you for doing your, doing your part. Good, now I should be able to pick up the savory fruit. Without dropping anything. And I will use it immediately. That was perfect timing for finding that. Alright, steel armor and hard fruit. Hard bug. I'll kill the steel armor because I'm pretty much guaranteed to do so, and I'll try to kill the hard bug. Uh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't rely on predicted damage as much because it's nowhere near as much of a guarantee as I say it is. When I say pretty much guaranteed to, it should mean pretty much guaranteed to. I guess this armor guy is wearing armor, so it makes sense that you would be able to dodge that. Alright, two of these get or not dodge it, but should I try casting fire? Eh, no need. I'm gonna attack this one, and I'm gonna also have you attack the same one because I think I'm not gonna kill it. Yeah, there we go. Good call, Matt. Good call. He did seven damage to me. They're stronger than uh stronger than previous enemies have been. And this one I did kill one. Okay, that was interesting. Rune fruit. Truth fruit. Identifies an item. I want this. And I want to use it. Now, which one do I want to use it on? I have three. This one. It's a vigor fruit. I found a trap. 
and also a crossbow. I'll take the crossbow, I can't use it, but I'll take it. it might be worth selling later. Or dropping if I need to drop something. My priest might need some uh, food soon. He doesn't lose hunger as rapidly because he's not searching like I am, but he is uh, exploring. He's running around. And that, that, you get hungry running around. Of course, I don't know who gets hungry quite at the rate that these guys do. Uh, I mean, it's been, what, 20 minutes that I've been in this dungeon? Not even. 16 minutes. And... Sword almost starved to death. And five in a row that I found the exit instantly. I could have just ran straight to the boss, it seems, without fighting anything, but... I don't think I would have been able to beat the boss at level one. Oh, this I'll want, but I want to see if I can hold out a little longer first. My phone just chimed because I got an email, but I get notifications on my computer so I can see what that email says. Now I know what it is. Green slime, huh? You're a new one. You can absorb damage pretty well. My attacks don't do much damage to you. Is the is your is your shtick? The wyvern also is a lot of health. Can I mega fire yet? No. Uh, let's cast a fire on a slime. And Priest, what can you do? You can hurt the Wyvern a bit. Oh, this looks like it has a chance to poison or something. I'm afraid of slimes all of a sudden. Just because they're green. Miss! I thought my hit rate- oh! Okay. Wait, what is the hit rate of fire? 56, so I thought it was higher than that. I didn't look carefully. Alright, we'll do it this way. Actually, this should kill it. If the predicted damage is accurate. That should do 9 damage. It did not do 9 damage, and that should do 1. It did, did do 1. That one was accurate. Oh boy. Well, one more. This should kill it. Hopefully they're not... Oh, good. You're gonna thrust this one, and you're gonna back me up with an attack. I'm just afraid that they're poisonous, man. I know the status effects are a thing in this game because I got stunned earlier. You saw that. That was that was when I was on camera. That was in part of this dungeon. So if a poison is an effect, then these guys look like the type who could cause it. There's some boots over there that I want. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right, I missed. I was gonna say, didn't I attack the wyvern or does that full health? Forgot that we had missed. That's okay. You're going down, buddy. This should be enough to kill it. If not, the priest will significantly weaken it. And if I miss and the priest hits, then I'll capture it. Nice. Nice, 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 good. Found an intruder alarm. If I remember what that trap does correctly, I want to say that it uh, just calls a bunch more enemies over. Which isn't bad. Like, it will help me level up. And there's a full heal thing right over that, around the corner, so... As long as I don't actually die, it wouldn't be an issue. But, I don't need to deal with that. Also, I didn't know what the trap was. You know, I didn't know there was a trap there when I defused it. Elude boots plus three. Increase ability to escape. I usually don't try to escape. I didn't know that was an option. But maybe they're better than my regular boots anyway. Yeah, they increase my evade and decrease my magic evade by just a little bit, but we increase my con by quite a lot. 
So let's equip that. Yummy fruit. Yummy fruits are great. Cure fruit. And some new enemies will. What does cure fruit do? Cures all curses. So that was if I if I get poisoned or something like that. I'm assuming that's what a curse is. This should kill him. Alright, and then the rabbit has never been an issue. So far the hardest enemies in this dungeon have been the uh, friggin' robbers on the first floor of burglars. So I think I want the curse fruit, so I'm gonna have the cure fruit. Luckily I leveled up so I should be able to take it just as is, but if I have to drop something I will, I don't. Alright, let's heal ourselves and then move on. And if the next floor, if this is also a six floor story floor, then the next floor is the boss. But I have my doubts. I do think these dungeons get bigger as the game progresses. So, might not be the last floor. Oops, wrong one. But, uh, and if it's not, then I'm gonna have to find something to feed my priest. Again, I have to just use my unidentified stuff. Uh, luck. Dexterity. I like increasing dexterity a lot. Dexterity is like your dodge chance, and I like it when enemies miss. It makes me laugh in their face a little. Let's see. Are we at our boss? Nope, I heard enemies. I'm pretty confident, if I recall correctly, that you'll never... What's this? RY-128. Seems to have a fairly high defense. My slash is better than anything. My air slash won't kill it. Ah, I finally have Mega Fire. Uh, you attack the rabbit. Vitality attack! Well, you missed. Will this kill them both? Oh, wow. Didn't kill either of them. But, do you, the priest did kill the rabbit. This guy is, he looks fast. It looks like his design is to be fast. If both of these do exactly the predicted damage, then he will die. If I miss, of course, he won't. Yeah, okay. What's my capture chance? 58 right now. I'm gonna try and capture him. So I'm doing something that I know won't kill him. Ah, you finally hit with your vitality attack. Yeah, 88% chapter chance. Let's go for it. He's an interesting dude. And I want one. In my collection. I don't think you get experience for captured dudes. Nice. Alright, another burglar, huh? I'll use up all my vitality doing that, why not? And I won't kill the power goblin, but... I'll hurt it. Looks like this burglar is nowhere near as hard as the first four burglars, probably because I am not level one anymore. And not being level one is nice. Level 13 is a good level to be. At this point, if I found a revive fruit, I would not revive my other team member. Being level two, he's not gonna actually be helpful. He would just die. I mean, I guess he would be cannon fodder. He, he would get hit once, so I might revive him before the right before the boss if I find another one. I, like, if I find a revive fruit. But, uh... Then and only then, and it's only just to absorb one attack, because the boss will attack him once instead of me, and then die. And he'll die. It's worth it. Let's 
so I guess if I found a revive fruit, I would use it. But not immediately. Rune fruit recovers MP, which I might want, and an unrecognized item, but I can't carry it. It's a crossbow of some sort. Savory fruit that I want, I can't carry it. What should I drop? I could drop this unknown thing. I could drop. I have a lot of rune fruits. Rune fruits. Drop a rune fruit. Take a savory fruit. Which I will actually give to my friend right now. I have some time before I need food. And we're gonna move on. No bonus points. On to the next floor. I don't know if this is gonna be it or not. I don't know where the end of this is. I hear enemies again, so it's not floor 7. I'm thinking floor 8 seems like reasonably likely. Alright, this time I'm gonna kill Ryan 128. Let's kill the steel armor first. I'll do that. And you could get us started on killing RY. Ooh, six. You're not messing around right now with your vitality attack. Another six? Yeah, jeez. Priest, on your next turn you're gonna heal yourself, alright? Sounds like a plan. Even though you just gained two levels, I still want you to heal yourself on your next turn. Understood? We're gonna have to fight a lot of guys here, so be ready. Let's cast Mega Fire. Hmm. Which group? This one behind me. And you're gonna heal yourself. Uh, I killed one guy there and weakened another, so that's good. One damage is nothing. One damage is nothing, and now you're healed. Great. Attack power plus. I didn't realize bunnies were so tough. Let's cast a mega fire there, too. And then have the priest finish the job back here. Are they dead? They're not dead! Lame. Yes! Also lame. One more mega fire. This one should kill them. And you're not gonna miss this time, right? 66 is your hit chance. Okay, bump both of those are dead. And also, the back party might be dead if the priest doesn't miss. Come on, priest, do your thing. You didn't do your thing. Uh. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna get one more shot at this, priest. Don't make me regret leaving it up to you. There you go. There you go. Now let's both work together to kill this one. I only got a 60 attack uh, chance, so I might miss as well. But look, even with that 60, I still hit. Come on. Alright, good job, priest. You earned that level up. You did. You got it. You got it. That one, too. And also that lack of level up. You also earned that. What's this? Boots plus one. Eh, I have good boots. What do I have here? An unidentified brass knuckles or something. A biting sword. High penetrative power. Let's check it out. It would increase my attack power and my penetration. And it's mastered. 
We'll try it. I can always switch back. Ooh. I can always switch back if I need to. And once again, I'm gonna be hungry soon, yeah. So hopefully we're either about to fight the boss, I find a fruit, or that one unidentified item I got will help me. If I've been stocking up in wisdom, I could have made the ring worth it by now. I'll put one in wisdom. And another in... Strength. No. I'm thinking the boss is coming up. Well, no, because there wasn't a heal thing on that floor. I'm pretty sure there's always a heal thing right before the boss. So, boss shouldn't be the next floor. Could be wrong about that. I don't hear any enemies yet. Oh, nope, there they are. Okay. Let's just check if this is a savory fruit. It's not. And is that also can't tell. Well, shit. I'm going to have to use this item on sword. Nothing happened. Shit. Uh, and I don't have anything for food. Uh, Alright. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe this thing is a... It's not a savory fruit, but maybe it's a... the other one that helps. Savory fruits are red, I think. Yes! Oh, that was so lucky. Alright. Oh, yeah, I got a new set of attacks, which I changed my sword. 29 damage for the point thrust, 26 for light, heavy is 39. I can still do air slash, I can still do cut. Air slash doesn't cost nearly as much vitality anymore. That's worth doing, actually. Priest could finish off that guy. Is there anyone else he could kill in one hit? No. So I'll just do this. And it looks like I'm not attacking the same guy anymore. It's fine. I'm gonna try to attack this one anyway, but I can't help with the priest can't help because it's too far away. Man, these guys like to jump around. These guys really like to jump around. It looks like I get more than 8 vitality every, uh, every turn, so that cost of 8 vitality is actually inconsequential. Alright, looks like this guy didn't move. He finally actually attacked instead of moving, so I will be able to attack him. Thankfully. And now I could do any of these attacks. As long as he doesn't move, I should be good. Continue working on the wyvern. Alright! One down, one to go. I mean, one power goblin. Obviously, there are two enemies left. Heavy thrust this one, and let's finish him off. The wyvern can wait! Got him! And now just this friend. Which has my best chance of hitting? This is 99, that's 96, 76, but 22 versus 47. I'd rather do this one with the 91 attack chance. You missed. And done! There we go, another level for each of us. And I got a few more enemies left to fight. And slash will way overkill this one, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. And you get started on the wyvern. He moved. Ah, I hate when they do that. Carry on your work on the wyvern. This one did not move this time, so I should be good on getting him. Boom, bow, piff, bop, sako. 
And now I can take care of the rest of this. Perfect. And now we'll end this fight. Damage times 1.4. Always comes when I would kill it anyway, never comes when I want it to. And there's a lot of paths here, so I'm thinking there's probably going to be a healing area at some point. And that means probably the boss is on the ninth floor. I'm just guessing here. I'm spitballing. I don't know where the third path will lead. I guess to a circle. I heard enemies again, so... There's gonna be another section with enemies. Yep, we're not out of these woods. Spike ceiling. Ouch! Alright, I'm gonna ask you to cast heal on me when we get into this fight. And I'm gonna hit this guy, and you're gonna cast healing on me. Having healers is nice. Uh, Sword also now has a heal spell, so I could, don't have to rely on the priest. But uh, but Sword is the better damage dealer, so if I'm gonna use one of, if I'm gonna have one of them heal, it's gonna be the priest. I got the priest in my party because I wanted a healer in my party. That was before uh, Sword learned the. Before Sard learned the heal spell, I didn't realize he was going to get it. But, uh, so... I could put someone else in my party after this. Especially since I captured more fun and interesting guys this time around. Tasty Fruit has been... something that's eluded me in the past. Oh, damn it! Oh, that only did 6 damage. Okay, that's nothing. The spike ceiling was way worse. And I'm thinking the other path will lead to a heal and then the boss. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I found a repair seed. I've got a couple of those I can't carry anymore. I don't need them. I don't even... I, like, I haven't seen an item break yet. I don't know how common that is. This is a long, long path to get to a healing thing. I mean, it was a healing thing. But geez, that was a long winding path. Well, I don't know why it had to be that long. I mean, that's what happens with random generation of dungeons. Procedural generation. Uh, sometimes you just get long winding paths to nowhere. Alright, then that's this whole floor, and I'm assuming we got our boss fight on the next floor. You guys ready? I don't care if I'm a little hungry. So close. Maybe I should have put more in wisdom. Just one more. Uh, I could still be wrong. Nope, not wrong. Here is our boss. Let's look around. And let's go approach this guy. Yeah, not much for talking. Let's see. Maybe I want to actually cast the stats down. Uh, defense. Dark spell hit rate 65. What's my fire hit rate? 90. Screw it. I'll lower defense if it turns out I need to. 25 damage. That's not bad. You, you can help out. And how much damage do I do? 59. 59 plus 25 every turn. How much damage do you do? Oh. Oh. This isn't worth worrying about. I didn't even need my other guy to be cannon fire. I remembered the bosses in this game being challenging. I mean, maybe it happens later. But like... Wow. Uh, <laughs> or maybe my policy of killing literally every enemy just really does overlevel me. Maybe 
Maybe I'm doing that because when I was little, the bosses were way too hard and I had to do that. And it's just a habit that, like, is now so deeply instilled in me. So... Stir level 2. I don't know what stir is. Lower my strength or something? You have 123 health left. So one more set of attacks should be enough. I missed. You don't even have the decency to hit me regularly. 39 health left. This fire should kill you unless it misses. In which case, the priest won't help. And fireworks show. 360 experience. That's worth four levels. Maybe he'll drop a guy named person named Friday. Now I've explored literally every corner of this dungeon. If Friday's not if Friday's not like spawning in this cutscene, then she she's not here. So Nigel will just have to accept that. Nigel will get over it. Uh, yep, yeah. let's exit the dungeon. Dungeon cleared. Quest accomplished. New title. Bully. Learned Cure. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Priest earned a new title. Witch. Also learned Cure. Why is my priest a witch? Oh, hello, Friday. No, I'm not Nigel. I didn't realize you were a tiny little fairy. I agree. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, he's a little bit, like, passed out, but fine. Is Friday an item? Do I have the Friday item? Okay. Two King's Ruins. Gotta go through a cutscene. I'm not gonna explore or talk to anyone at all, just gonna save. Uh, new land, maybe the city, hopefully. There's Mr. Wire. I just wanna get to the city. I think Nigel's gonna join my party now, which is weird, because I thought the lion guy was my second party member, but it doesn't matter. Oh, where did he go? What do you mean just here? That was 40 minutes ago. No, it wasn't, he was not just here. Yeah, I don't know where Nigel went. I'll find him later. He's probably at my house. That's where people just go, right? They go to my house. What is this? Oh, I said I wouldn't explore. But there's a blacksmith shop. I like the music in this game. Hammer and Sean! Ooh, I can strengthen my legendary thingy. But it's very expensive and you don't take debt. I could also improve it instead of strengthen it, which is way more expensive than strengthening. Oh, but that would make it so I don't need 20 wisdom. Transfer seals from legendary item to another one. That's interesting. Alright, what about you? So you're blacksmith Sean, how about you? Bla Pound and Mike. Hammer and Sean and Pound and Mike. Nice, nice. Alright, you're not a shop. Only your brother's a shop. Understood. Yeah, in my, uh... In my previous life... Do you sell things? Mamud? Oh, you sell VMU stuff. Okay, that's not stuff that I care about. In my previous life, I could never afford the blacksmith shop at all, because I was in lots of debt. The two shops that go to let you go into debt are Reviving Your Monsters. Uh, three shops. Reviving Your Monsters, Taking Quests, and Losing Quests for the Rabbit. 
And also, uh... Oh, yeah, I gotta get back up this way. And the regular general store. And I bought a lot of stuff from the general store, even though you can only take in four items at once. So items outside the dungeons aren't the most useful. I bought a lot of stuff. Probably gonna be another cutscene before I can save. Where we find Nigel. Nope, not yet. Well, if he's not at my house, then, uh... Then we'll find him next time. Nope, nope, there he is. He is at my house. I don't know why he's at my house. It's kind of weird, and he didn't even take his shoes off before going to bed. Asshole. Ha! What a good joke, sword. You're a jokester. Oh, Nigel. You almost have pointier ears than sword does. That makes sense, because I think Nigel's actually an elf. Oh, he can't die. He's a hero. <laughs> I mean, is that the only reason he did it, Sword, really? Because he was a cute girl? It's a little bit... Yeah, I mean, you kind of deserved it if that's the only reason he did it. Yeah. Treasure Hunters. My name is Sword. I'll be 91 this year. Bastard. Master. You're a hero? Well, we only got the one hero's quest, so we're gonna have to share. Unfortunately... Only one hero is allowed in dungeons at a time, so he's not going to join my party. Okay, let me talk to the cute girl. Hello. I mean, Sword is just a kid, too. I don't know why he's so... I don't know if judgmental is the right word. I have a lot of items to store. I don't think I'll be able to store most of them. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what to sell later. I'm just gonna save and call it a day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is gonna be an extremely long video, but I will see you next time. In another hero, Nigel.